Alright guys, before we jump into this video, I just want to say I'm not the best uh, at UFC. I just want to make this video and it says it in the title, it is the clinch basics. It helps you guys understand the basics and how to use it correctly. And, um, you know, I, I know some, for some people, seeing it visually helps. It's like me, I, I learn better visually. So watching someone else play it and talk about it, it would help me learn. And hopefully it will help you guys learn how to use the clinch if you're unfamiliar with it or you're not quite sure how to land everything. So I hope this video helps guys. And uh, yeah, enjoy guys. What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today I'm going to be teaching you guys the basics of the clinch Please, this is not like, I'm not amazing, I know that uh, But we're just going to be going through the basics because I'm sure there's some people that don't understand I've had people in my comments say, oh I haven't seen elbows, they took that out, well, they haven't, it is in the game I, I can, I'll show you guys in this gameplay In this gameplay I'll show you guys very, very, very heavy clinch gameplay Just to show you guys everything that there is and everything you can do The only thing I don't show you guys is a trip, a throw or a submission But obviously if you want to see them as well, I can show them in the clinch we're going to start with how to initiate the clinch. If your right hand is uh, in front, it's R1 and triangle. You want to tap R1 and triangle. You don't want to hold it, otherwise you'll throw a big overhand punch, which I show you guys in this gameplay. That's also what happens. Uh, if your left hand's in the front, which is orthodox, then it is R1 and square to initiate the clinch. Obviously, sometimes you might reach in, uh, in the right angle or the right distance and you might miss. That just happens. Remember, the game is not fully released yet, so it can happen. So while we're in the clinch, we're going to talk about core strikes and just strikes in general inside the clinch. The basics, we just have our hooks. Uh, L1 and square, L1 and triangle to throw hooks. But remember, you can't. You can only throw it with the hand that's free. So if if you've if you've initiated it with R1 and triangle, then you want to use L1 and square to throw that left hand hook. Then we have uppercuts, which is the same as standard um, uppercuts. We have square and X together, or triangle and circle together. Then we have body knees, which is the either L2 and X or L2 and circle. We have head knees, L1 and X or L1 and circle. And then we have elbows inside the clinch, which you guys will see me actually drop Covington with at some point in this fight, which is L1, square and X, or L1, triangle and circle, depending on what hand you have in the single collar. So those are all your strokes within the clinch. We've got the hooks, the uppercuts, the body knees, the head knees, and the elbows. The clinch is a great uh, use in this game, and I fucking love it, to be honest. I think the clinch is fantastic. So, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan so far. I think they've done a great job, and it feels smooth as well. Sometimes it can be a bit messy when the computer gets you in it, because they can throw, like, elbow, hook, uppercut, then release it, then throw hook, uppercut again, and rock you, and it happens a lot when you play on, like, hard or pro. But... Other than that, the clinch feels really smooth and I'm quite happy with it so far. So up, we'll get the boring stuff out of the way, the takedown defense, the defender submission, and uh, the single and double leg uh, defensive modifier and the clinch escape. Obviously, you'll see in this, uh, when we're against the cage, we I do start to shuffle across the cage. You'll see it in the later round. And obviously, you'll see me sometimes just clinch and break off, clinch and break off. And that is literally all you do is you push in the opposite direction of the clinch. So if you guys are... Clinching, you just want to push as if you were literally walking away from the clinch. So push back. That is simple as that. You want to push back from the clinch. If you're against, if you're against the cage, you're in some kind of, uh, you and you've been transitioned, so your head is exposed to a knee and you're blocking. Then all you want to do is almost rotate. That's the way I look at it. It's kind of my best way to explain. It, is rotate the analog stick as if you are moving and pushing someone off from their shoulder. So that's how you want to envisage what you're doing there when you push and rotate your opponent. Uh, to defend the takedown and throw of inside the clinch is L2 and R2. To defend the submission is just R2. And obviously to uh, and obviously to you know defend whether it's a single leg or double leg, you do have to know where you're going with the left analog stick up, left, down, right, whatever it may be. Uh, so far, I'm still having a bit of a, a bit of trouble defending takedowns and throws, but I will get there eventually. Uh, this gameplay, unfortunately, I decided to go against Covington, who's a great wrestler. But I still was able to show you guys uh, great clinch stuff. Next up, we've got grappling inside the clinch. There's a lot of uses here with inside the clinch. It's not just about striking and causing damage. If you're unable to land a clean takedown, getting inside the clinch in a game like this and getting a one of many, many takedowns, especially with a fight like Usman, it's perfect to do. And um, I think I think it's, the clinch is such an important part of MMA in general, and I'm glad they finally focused on it. Uh, so we're going to go through the grappling here. Obviously, we've got single leg and double legs. Uh, so for single leg, it is L2 and square, but you have to hold square. All of these next four, all the takedowns, you have to hold the button. So hold L2 and hold... Well, you don't have to hold it. You could press L2, but that will make sense. Hold L2 and hold square for single leg. For the wrestling double leg, you want to hold L2 and hold triangle. For the power single leg, it's L2 and L1 and hold square. For the power double leg, which you'll see me land in this fight, is, the L is L2, L1 and hold triangle. You obviously want to modify it with the left analog stick. But you can just pick them up and then when you pick them up for the, uh, for the power, for the power so you put them on your shoulder. And all I seem to do is, I haven't actually seen one that just says like, 
fully smash them down. So I just kind of do the same thing. I just do like R1 and square or R1 and triangle or L1 and square and L1 and triangle. And every time it just seems to slam them on the ground. So it, that works pretty well for me, to be honest. Uh, next up, we've got to advance position, which I'm sure some people are unfamiliar with. And that is to, to push someone down to expose their head or move them inside the clinch and throw them big knees. And that is just press L1 and... Tri not L1, sorry. R1 and square or R1 and triangle. Both buttons will transition pretty much the same ways. Uh, you know, so far it exposes the head for a big knee, which you'll see me use in this fight as well. Uh, and I know I saw a lot of people saying, you know, I can't get out of the single collar. Simple as that. Just block L1 and square, to, uh, R1 and square together, sorry, R1 and triangle together, and you will advance position inside the clinch. Next up for trips and throws, so to obviously put your leg and flip someone or trip them, is R1 and X or R1 and circle, depending on which hand you've got. Uh, in start obviously because you'll need to use your back leg I believe to flip someone over or trip them or throw them inside the clinch Next we have submissions which is L2, R1 and square or L2, R1 and triangle So this is just the very very basic and you guys are seeing me using them here I hope this does help uh, instead of trying to learn you know you can now go in and have a vague understanding of, uh, of, of what's going on uh, because you know, I, I understand it can be quite difficult. I spent a lot of time in the closed beta learning how to use the clinch. Uh, it was definitely worth it because now I know how to use it. Uh, but even like recently, I only just discovered when this the, the 10 hour trial can't that you could throw elbows inside the clinch. So I thought, you know what, I've been playing for like almost like three hours now. I will uh, show you guys the basics of the clinch. Uh, but please do not take this as, you know, God send all, you know, whatever. I'm not the best. I know that. I just wanted to help you guys understand the clinch. If you guys need any help understanding the stand up or the ground, please let me know. I'll just be doing the basics until I'm at a higher level of understanding and where I feel like I'm better than everyone. Then I will make like a this is five tricks on why you're losing kind of bullshit video. But until then, I will just make basic videos like this to help you guys understand and uh, visualize, see it as well. Sometimes it's easier for you guys to see it, and hopefully that helps. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I will, if there's any gameplay left after this commentary, I will leave it running so you guys can uh, carry on seeing things. Uh, I probably would have cut out a lot of it because Kobe Covington took me down from time to time. But uh, enjoy the rest of the video, guys. And thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.